I'm BU, a mixer partner, and I'm here with Steve from Te Team 17. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. We are checking out a game called My Time at Portia from um, the developers Pathia, and we're going to check it out. We're loading up right now. Can you tell us a little bit about your game? Uh, yeah, sure. So uh, My Time Portia, it's a uh, it's an RPG game at heart, really, but. We've got loads of other um, like mechanics thrown in there as well, so it's got that sort of those those life sim feels. Um, it's quite heavily focused on crafting and the relationships that you build, and you know, with with various characters that you meet in this um, in this new land that you uh, sort of happen to visit to, essentially. Um, starts off, you uh, in inherit your your workshop. It's in sort of disrepair. You need to fix it up find out what's going on in the town, and then strive to be the best builder in Portia. Awesome, awesome, very cool. So, um, I've been playing it a little bit. Oh, awesome. Actually, quite a bit. I'm really in love with this game. It's very magical and whimsical. Yeah, yeah. The creatures are very unique. Uh -huh. They always seem to have like this cute aspect, so you're like, oh, do I have to fight them or not? They're so cute. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so, I mean, what? one of the things that we, um, you know, really loved about this game, like why we, as Team 17, we're interested in working with pa uh, Pathia to, to help them, you know, bring this to, to the world. Um, you know, the art style is beautiful. Like we've got those um, Studio Ghibli sort of feels, like because th those guys are based out in China, um, and you know they, they're really in in, uh, inspired by these amazing, like you know, animation studios. And we think it really, it really comes across like really well in the game because um, it's actually a set in a post-apocalyptic world. And mm -hmm. you know, if you look at it, like. It doesn't look like your normal sort of post-apocalyptic world. Like usually, there's been some kind of holocaust, like nuclear sort of explosions, and like you know. So yeah, it's a little bit sort of different. Um, so we're trying to be a bit more like you know, hey, you know, the world's changed, but changed for the for you know fun times, like sort of thing. Yeah, I love having to decide like, are we going to go sciencey or are we going to kind of stick to like? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we don't want to. We don't want to mess up the world again and go that far with our technology. Where do we draw the line? I yeah, really exactly. Because, like um, you know. One of the things that you, that's really interesting is that in the game you do uh, go into uh, the mines and that's when you go ruin diving and that's when you sort of un uncover these relics of the past and yeah. you know you need to like build them all together and then you can like you know put them on display in a museum and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, there's loads of there's loads of cool things that we that we uh, put put in there. Cool. So um, you get to build uh, relationships with the characters. So you get yeah. benefits from that. Um, yeah. Can you get married in the game? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So um, there are. There's, I'm not sure the exact number of NPCs. There's quite a few in there, um, but there, there's the, the majority of them that you you can sort of romance and uh, you can get married. And what they would do, they they give you uh, different sort of uh, stat abilities and buffs and a few perks and things as well. So oh, okay. depending on where you get to in, in the relationship, um, and yeah, you know, w w wedding bells can ring as well if you do get all the way to the very end. That's, um, that's so really yeah, it's it's awesome. I love. I love all the aspects of the game. Like you can focus on developing friendships, or you can focus on fighting and going to the dungeons, or you can go mining, or you can just work on your farm. And yeah, yeah, exactly. You have exactly. so many different pathways that you can take and play it differently from your friends. And yeah, I feel like each time you play it, it can be different. Yeah, I mean, so uh, adding in the, uh, the 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 farming aspect um, has actually came in whilst the game was in early access. We did like a huge livestock update, um, so now you can like keep and raise animals. Um, there's horse riding. We did a, a recent horse riding update as well. So it's got like oh, horse, excited. yeah, horse riding competitions. You know, uh, throughout the the development process, we've added you know so many, so much content in there to that you can um, appeal to so many different players. Like there's such you know just cool little things like you know you can even take your you know boyfriend or girlfriend on a seesaw if you really want to. That's great. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm so excited for this game to come to Xbox. And yeah, it's. I mean. Um, We've not really announced the date yet. Uh, it's coming out real soon. You know, we're working really hard to uh, get this in, in uh, console players' hands as soon as possible. Um, so we just have to, you know, keep tight, and we'll, we'll let that players know as soon as we can. Oh, of course. All right, guys, that's been our time at my time at Portia. We will see you back at the stage. On Mixer, I am known as 8-Bit Blonde. I go by Captain 16. I am Gouda. Hyper Chuck. PT Barpun. Dr. Out. I am Mixer. Booyah. My Mixer name is Tazar. Easty meets Wisty. Cabby. Kerminator. Mixer Fur. I am sorry about your cats. Pirate King. Magnetron. Damn it, Rooster. Mmm. My boomstick. <laughs> I know. I am Mixer. I am Mixer. Yo soy Mixer. I am Mixer. That was bad. How about one more? I am Mixer. I am Mixer! 
I am Mixer. And I am Mixer. Right, what else was it? Spelling. <clears throat> M. I. X. E. R. And now we'll do, we'll do one more. M. I. X. E. R. M. I. X. E. R. All right, we're done.